Hey everyone, I'm inside the Seamen station. I'm going to try this fast food chain, Mr. Donuts. Haven't seen this where I'm from, from the US. I guess this is their version of Dunkin' Donuts. Well, I guess even that, they rebranded it to Dunkin' now. I think I'm gonna get that uh, chocolate strawberry one. So I think this might be the uh, Lunar New Year flavor because they have some kind of promotion. Today's the 22nd, so I don't know if the strawberry chocolate version is part of that. Definitely very interesting. Mr. Donut is kind of a quirky name too. Let's see if Mr. Donut is better than Dunkin' Donuts. It's certainly a different shape than what I expect. This one looks like kind of like a mochi donut a little bit. I wouldn't even be surprised if this is from Japan, this donut chain. Mmm. Okay. I like it. Um, it's not nearly as sweet as Dunkin Donuts, which I like. I don't really like it when it's overloaded with sugar. Slight um, strawberry flavor. You can definitely taste the chocolate in the dough. As for the dough itself, kind of bouncy, has a little bit of a uh, chewy texture to it. Um, it is kind of similar to mochi donuts that I've had in the US, but I don't think it's as um, like pronounced with this. This is like commercialized. I don't think this is like premium mochi donuts, but it's pretty good. Mm. And at uh, 39 NT dollars, just over a dollar US, I think it's a good treat. Thumbs up for me for Mr. Donut. So a little bit of backstory. I was reading Wikipedia after I finished my donut. Mr. Donut actually started in the United States. Most of the US locations, they converted to Dunkin' Donuts after being bought out. There's actually one Dunk, um, Mr. Donut location left in Illinois, but the Mr. Donut brand survives here in Asia, Thailand, Japan, Taiwan. So you got to experience uh, Dunkin' Donuts before it became a Dunkin' Donuts, in name at least. Yeah pretty good but different <laughs> 